Welcome back to the channel guys for the first episode of a break 80 with our mid handicap golfer Tahid. Have we already accepted the challenge? We've accepted no, the challenge. No, I'm not sure yet. We've accepted, we've accepted it for I'm not sure yet. So Tahid's played a lot of golf since break 100. Social golf, you've played with friends and you've actually developed and you're now scoring. What is the sort of scores that you're shooting? Mm, 86 to 90. 86 to 90? Yeah, 85 to 90, something like that. And I think you'll agree if you watch the channel guys, he's very comfortable with this now and you do well under pressure. You do well when there's a challenge. Well, when I'm, when I'm pushed, I play a little better. So I have not played over 90, to be honest, at all for the last one year. What they mentioned, Tahid, were is that your short game, they didn't feel was too good. They thought your long game was great. And I actually agree. I'm, you know, I'm very pleased you pointed that out. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a test tonight. Right. Me and you are going to try and break 80. We're not playing 18 holes, we're only playing nine. So we're going to try and break 40. Okay. But this is going to be your long game and a golf pro short game. Ah, so okay. So inside 80 yards, I will play. So you want me to play all the long shots the to long give me game. back pain and you only deal with the smaller ones? Well, we're going to test this out. <laughs> we're going to test this theory. Do we just need to work on teams inside 80 yards or do we need to work on your full game? That's what we're going to find out tonight. I think they're absolutely right. Inside uh, uh, 90 yards is, uh, is a approach shot. I think that's where I struggle the most. Approach oh, for 276 yards, a 10 folly at Uddersfield Golf Club. Tahid's chose driver. Lovely strike. Well done. Excellent shot, that Tahid. Thank you. What was it, 76 yards? Uh, yes, to the middle. And it's, uh, it's 90 to the back, and right. it's a white flag. Looks good. Little baby, uh, yeah. Towards the middle of the green. To the middle of the green, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's a lot of, being a low handicapper is hitting greens. Right, You don't okay. want to be chasing the pin all the time when, the, when it's right at the back. Okay. This is real teamwork. He's just cleaned that ball for me. Thank you, Tahid. Welcome. Would you have a little bit of a walk and sort of yes, feel the slope? Yes, I think it makes huge difference because when you walk to the pin, then you can suss out the actual distance. Yeah. I think good idea, definitely. Uh, not bad. That is great. Yeah, well nice done. putter. I like that. Good start. It's very balanced, this putter. Yeah, it is. This is a 160 yard par three, downhill, wind off the left. Good strike, a little bit high out the face, but it's straight. The wind didn't Ooh, touch that much. It's short. Just short. Just short. This is a little bit of a tight shot, not much to work with. Just leave a par put. Great. Ooh. Ooh, just a bit short. Yes. Thank you, Tahi. You're not bad from this length, are you? Yeah, I don't it's, think. It's okay, it's not that bad, no. I think it's more the longer puts and then the probably pitchers and chippers. Yes. Just a little bit off that right. Get in! <laughs> Drop one. No, was very close. Okay. So 12 hole, 407 yards. This is our stroke two hole here at Huddersfield Golf Club. Got to try and aim up for the tree on the right. Oh, he's straight at that tree again. Is it a little longer today? Yeah, a little longer. Oh, it's all right. I don't know if it just made the longer rough or did it stay short? No, it's all right. Is it all right? Yeah, it's close to the rough. 
Tell them about that story when you played with Paul. <laughs> that was good two and a half, three years ago. The first that, time you played That's one... the very first time I came to this course. It were. Yeah, and you organised uh, somebody called Paul Green. Yeah. And he said to me, he came, we came here, he says, you know that tree, that is the line, but you're not going to get there. <laughs> ah, yeah, but that is the line, just fit in that line. I don't know what happened. I just took it really hard and it dropped on the tree. You hit the tree, <laughs> didn't you? You were telling me that story. I can still go around to it. What di distance does your watch say? It says 214 to 10, roughly. And I'm going with uh, my three wood. Three wood? <laughs> Seriously? It's a little bit... Uh, not the brilliant lie, but let me have a look. I can't say anything. Yes, I am. I've got to let him play his own game. Yes, I am. Someone's lost the dog, I think. Because the other club not going to give me the distance. I don't know where he's going. He's got something in mind. I'm going to fade a little. That's the reason I'm going this way. Yeah. Oh. oh well. Okay. Okay. Fully accept my responsibility. It was uh, in this thick grass. I couldn't uh, dig it. I can only help you inside 80 yards. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to hit? I just remembered I, I lost my seven, so I got this uh, today. You got a Callaway seven. It's Callaway Pro. Right, okay. So this is the first time I'm striking with it. Because I lost my sim 2-7. Hopefully someone hands that in. He lost it at Bradley Park. If anyone's seen that, if they could return it to Mr. T. Come on. Good shot. Good shot. That's yeah. on the green team. It's on the green. You've recovered. Yeah, it's on well the green. Well done. I've let you, I'm going to let you off with that. Because I right. thought that free wood were a bad choice. I'm not going to lie. I appreciate that. That's a great shot, distance-wise. Yes, it worked out all we, right. We could have had a bigger score on here. I think uh, that's a good shot. It gives us a... Ah, needed a little more. I'll tell you what. And there was no turn either. I think you could have done a better job at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think, where you can recover, though. Nerves of well steel. Done. Good. Not the best start. Two over par through three. But there's still a long way to go and consistency is going to be the key. 153 yards. Par three. Lovely strike and connection. That is a shot. Will it be on the green? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. I'm not doing a very good job, am I? No. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> I should keep quiet. <laughs> well oh, done. Yes. Here we are. It's kept us going. Right, okay. This is uh, a very tricky hole, Gary. Very tricky hole, yeah. For a par five, the teeny shot is very yes. difficult. It's, yes. You have to be so precise to be on the left of the edge somewhere yeah. because if you go a little right and fade, you lost the ball. It always bounces to the right. It's 480 right. yards. You've got to hit this about 250 yards. Yes. Uh, any more than that, you can reach the, the stuff on the left. Are you deliberately giving me tall order, bringing <laughs> me to the back nine? <laughs> well, we're on track. We're two over after four. Okay. So we're on, we're on track for this 40. 
Come on, dear. It's all right. It's not going to reach the rubbish. It's all right. It's yep. soft. It's okay. You've hit that about 230. Yeah, it's very tricky, this one. The thing is, I can't coach you from here now until no, I can't. get inside 80 yards when it's my turn. And yeah. this is where the subscribers and myself are going to really see okay. whether we can get away with just doing inside 80 or whether you do need some extra help with your long game. Fine. Because I don't think it's about hitting the ball so much for you. Yeah. I still see some weaknesses in your club selections. Right. If okay. you're going to try and break 80. Okay. The left, because I was very conscious. I don't want it to go fade and go to the right, because if you drop ball there, it will kind of roll into the trees. Yeah, you just said off camera, you're actually scared of losing the ball, because that'll right. make the challenge over. Exactly. Try not to be scared. Let's just play. Okay. Um, you know, as again, I, I can't really say much about club selection, but think about your line here. Yeah. Because with that club, you know, you're bringing a lot of trouble into play. I know, but at the same time... <laughs> okay. Sh I shouldn't have said anything then. No, you play it. You play it. No, I'm just thinking now. Uh, just uh, club down, that's all. I think you've got to play this as a free shotter. You know, okay. hybrid. If you push it slightly right with a hybrid, it's not going to go out of bounds. Yeah. I think you push it slightly right with a free wood, you go over the wall and out of bounds. The trouble is, on this hole, you, don't, you do not know your target. Well, you, you do not you know your target. You just need to go over that corner a little bit. You need to, probably 15 yards, you need to go over the, the roof. Okay. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Honestly, Tahid, that is phenomenal. Is that okay? That is tremendous. Right, okay, good. It was a tremendous shot. I thought that was a perfect line with a hybrid, free wood. And that is the difference between shooting under 40 and over 40 for me. So club selection, guys, you know, really think about your landing area, the distance that you're going to be carrying and, and where the club's going to be finishing and try and pick a safe landing area, the widest landing area as you can. That was such a difficult shot coming over that hill. Good strike, a little left, I think. Oh, it's come in. It's coming more than I thought, actually. It may be on the green or over the green. Uh, it's, it's landed short. It depends if it's kicked down or not. It kicked down quite a bit. Bit of a tight angle, this one. <sighs> wow, ah, well done. Mm. Run out My a God. Bit. In and out. Uh, oh, do you know what? I might leave it. No, I'll take it out, actually. Okay. I'll take it out. You've cleaned that, ain't you? Yes, I have. Thank you. Because this is uphill, it's got to be a little bit firmer. It's not going to break as much as normal. So you don't need to aim so wide on these ones. Well done! <laughs> Just. <laughs> it was about to stop. Just. So 364 yards uphill, two bunkers each side. So I need a pretty straight drive to heed. Okay. We are currently two over par with four holes to play. Can we do it? drive it's solid it's not your normal shot it's a little bit left 
I picked up on something there. Yeah, it's okay. You tried to adjust your club face when you were stood over the ball, didn't you? I know, you I tried to. In. Yeah, I ducked it in a I bit. think that is something we can learn from. Right, Just okay. that one little thing there is step away and reline up. Right, okay. The lie. Then looking at the distance, what's the distance? Ooh, uphill 180. 180. Uphill. What I'm noticing about Tahid's game so far is that every time we're inside 80 yards, it tends to be very close to the green. I expected, apart from the 10 fall, I expected to be playing quite a few more pitch shots from sort of, you know, 60, 70, 80 yards. But actually, it's really close to the green. Just by the side of the green, mostly. Oh, no. Less Sorry. distance by its uh, It's straight. straight, just went a bit high out the face, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. It's okay. Sorry about that. It's all right. It's on the side of the greens. Can I try as well? Yeah. Right. What I do, I'll, I'll share with you what I do. Yeah. I do not use these uh, 56s and 52s. Yeah. I use my pitching wedge. Right. And it's, uh, for example, 50 yard shot. Yeah. I'm going to come down half and play half shot. Let's have a look. And then. see if it works. That's what I do usually. We're a good strike. Yeah, still on the edge of the game. Still green. not bad. Totally not bad. put it. Yeah. I think I'm going to put it because I feel like that is the percentage shot. Yeah, it's, it's I will. On, it's off the apron actually. It's in a little bit longer. It's not on the fringe, sorry, or the green. But even so, I'm only going for probably six inches of, of longer stuff. So let's keep it on the floor. Stay up, stay yeah, in. up. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's very unlucky, Gary. That was a lovely putt. It would have been great par. Right. So Can I try with my ball as well? Yeah. My ball is oh, there. Oh, sorry, yeah, Can yeah. I try to put it, yeah? Yeah. Little longer. Oh, unlucky. That's what it is. Well, we saved a shot. That's where I lose my shots. Here we are. 4-3-2. There's not a lot I can show you here because uh, we've got some bushes in front of the tees. To his height, will help here though. No problem. We're free over par. If we par in, we shoot a 38 to heat. So we've got two bogeys left with three holes. Okay. I think it's going to come down to how well you hit, you know, get to the green. Okay. I'm always going to be there about with the chipping and putting. I mean, I'm not doing much tonight, but I'm getting down in regulation, should we say, on the green and two putts. Oh, that's your best. Yes, it is. That is your best. Absolute straight. Do you feel any pressure off the tee? Not really. No, yeah, I standing on the first tee with the driving in hand. Yeah, I cherish it. Where do you feel pressure in your game? Where do you feel the, the biggest struggle? In ninety yard. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Do you get nervous? I, because the difference is, I'll tell you the difficulty. The difficulty is sometimes it's seventy yard, other time sixty, third time is ninety. Yeah. Ninety fine pitching where a little bit slow will do the job. Yeah. But seventy, sixty, sixty-five, yeah. fifty-five. Is I have to just because I use pitching wedge for everything. Yeah. So I have to adjust pitching wedge, and it's not always. So fun. when you practice your full shots, you're okay. But yes, it's when it's these between, ah. in between, that's where my trouble. I'm starting is. to understand now. <laughs> so how far have we got to heed? Hundred and sixty-six. One six six. To heed, you said something interesting me up on that tee. Yeah. And it's relatable to when I was off 12 handicap, you know. Yeah. It's just like a flashback happened. What, exactly what you said is what the pro said to me. He said, right. Gaz, 
He said, you've got a great game, but you're not going to get to single figures unless you improve your pitching right. from 50 to 90 yards. He said, right. that's all you need to focus on. Yeah. But when you're sort of 15 year old and somebody tells you that, yeah. you don't really believe them. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> you know, I can relate to that because that's what did help me get to single figures. Okay, good, let's try. Good strike. Is it going to get over, it should, it's over them bunkers, isn't it? Is it going into the bunker? No, it's over the bunkers. I'm worried if it's a little long. Is it? I think it's going to be on that next tee box. Right, okay. Yeah, get up, get up, sit. Yep. Can I try not, here as well? Not close enough. Can I try? Yeah, you try. Okay, I'm using pitching wedge. Good shot. Not bad. Well, Have you got a spirit level in your bag? <laughs> yeah, I will play on the edge here. This side. That's where I will play. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. I, okay. I think it's inside the hole, but... Okay, yeah, inside the hole to the left. That's what I would play, but I'm not sure. Yes. Yes, it did. Exactly the same spot you dropped it. Well done, mate. Cheers. 178 to heed into the wind. This is playing very tough tonight. Okay. What club? Do you want the ball? Yes, please. I've got the ball. It's, uh, we're three over par with two to play. I think we've done quite well, actually. I didn't expect it to be this easy. But I think that's probably showing where the shots are being dropped. Good strike. Solid. Oh, wind. Ooh. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's in play. That's fine. It's pin eye. You... But it's wind, wind took 40 yard away. Yeah, well, it I did... played really left and it went really right. But at least you use course management and you aim left. That's what I'm happy with. Can I play another ball just for the sake of it? Come on then, quickly. Cheers. See, that felt so diggy when I hit it. Yes, it did. Look, I don't get that with my wedges. No. It's a divot. <laughs> There's a little chip or pitch. Come down. A bit more. Okay. Oh, is that us four over now? Yeah. We have to do par now next. Par for a 39. Yes. So this is it, Tahid. Yeah, I know. Good drive, and I think we're in. Well done. You proved to me tonight that you can play under pressure. Yes, uh, on the fairway. That's tremendous because your bad shot is a slice. That wind is left to right, yeah. very strong, and yeah. it would have been very easy to lose that out of bounds on the right. Just right. So, yeah, that's impressive. I weren't expecting that, actually. Shot tracer on this next shot is not going to show you anything because you won't be able to see over the hill. So we're going to spin the camera around, I think, after Tahid's hit it. And, um, can I remove this? You can do, yeah. You <laughs> Seriously? Can, no, you can, yeah. Wow, yeah. no way. Seriously. That's a, that's a, that's a joke. No, you can. <laughs> no, I can't be bothered. Seriously, if you hit it now. <laughs> All right. If you hit it now, you're in trouble. Okay. Sounded good. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh no, you 100, 202. It's, it's a middle distance. Is it? Yeah. Can I stand like this and it'll be 100? <laughs> so, oh, what are you going to hit? You're getting me into trouble now. So I'm going for my... Uh, all, uh, nice and easy pitching wedge and I'm going to try to land it on the green if I can. I hope so. I'll be forced. Don't make me get up and down. Okay. Don't make me have to get up and down. We did set 40 though. Yeah, because sand wedge is going to... Hmm. I can try sand wedge, but... No, 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 no. Risky. This is better. Don't risk it. A lovely strike. 
lovely strike. Just Go on. Oh, short. you have to do up and down. I've got to do up and down. Well, I mean, well, I've got to try and do up and down for 39, which would break 40, wouldn't it? Yes. Well, yeah, because we I'm surprised that it didn't go 100. Yeah. It was clean strike. I was thinking it's going to land on the green because I know my ball lands and stops. We haven't done inside 100 yards because I think you're actually okay with full swings. Is it? I think this is a, a, a test to show your weakness with the half swing. Right, 52, no messing about. Let's get up and down. You need to clean the ball, I believe. You've just said, Yeah. well, we just discovered there. So he's trying to play the half shots with a slower speed. And I've just said to him, you know, you don't do that. If you're trying to play a pitching wedge and take 10 yards off it or, or 20 yards off it, you're not slowing the speed. You're reducing the length of the swing. Right. And okay. then you're staying committed to the swing, not playing a full length and then just slowly hitting it. So that's the work that we've got to do, I think. That might just be good enough Sit. to secure this 39. <laughs> you are a saviour. <laughs> you are a saviour. I thought that save we lost it. Honestly, I thought we lost it. So for the 39, I've, you can actually mark it like this in the rules of golf. Is it? Yeah, to clean it. As long as you don't move the putter then, huh? Yeah, you've got to obviously put it back. Okay. They'll have already seen this video. If you haven't, go and check it out. Some of the rules yeah. of golf that you don't know. I posted that video on Sunday. I'm feeling a little bit of pressure on this, Dees. <laughs> no, there is no pressure. It's gone in. You're a saviour. I've enjoyed done it that tonight. Then. Let's Thank go and have you. a conclusion. Yes. So there we have it, guys. I think the experiment's been fantastic. I think, you know, it's probably shown that your weakness is inside 80 yards. Predominantly, yes. Yeah. I must admit, yeah, a lot of time I'm in trouble within uh, uh, 90 yards, especially with the shorts where I have to play 35, 45 or 75, for example. Yeah. Because I'm only using pitching wedge, so I have to improvise and implement things which are not very usual for me to do. Uh, and that doesn't help. But we've discovered why you're only using pitch wedges. So I've used to Heaves Club tonight and I've noticed on all your wedges, he's got very, very low bounces. And, I didn't know the difference. <laughs> and Tahid, Tahid is quite a shallow swinger. You have yes, no problem brushing the surface and striking yeah, the surface. No, no problem. But, but when he uses the wedges, it digs in. Just right. That's the reason I stopped because I couldn't stop kind of every time it does. And, uh, and I thought, no, it's not for me. And there's been a few occasions tonight when I'm striking, I'm thinking, oh, I don't like the feel this, it's digging too much. Right, okay. So we're going to get rid of the wedges. I think, you know, if we're going to get, you know, comfortable inside 80 yards, you have to have more than just a pitching wedge. Yes, we I need to have more selection. Yeah, better bounce one. So we're going to have a look suggested. at wedges and yeah. we're going to really focus on this inside 80 yards. Now, I don't feel like I've even done very well inside 80 yards. So what well, I've done tonight is very achievable for you. Well, you've done very well on the last hole. Well, the last <laughs> hole, yeah, when it really needed to be done. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know, I've not pulled up any roots inside 80 yards. Very, you know, basic chipping on two puts. That's not unachievable for you, is it? No, at all. No. Remain to be seen, in it? And I think you're very good at chipping close to the green. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's quite that's not good. too bad. The, another area, for example, is I can chip close, but not close enough. Yeah. Because even within six feet different, within six feet distance, yeah. I struggle to so pot. Inside? Inside six, seven, eight feet, I struggle. So we're not, you know, I think this should be a good lesson to you guys at home. If you're trying to break eight here, you're trying to get into single figures, don't just keep having full swing lessons. Right. Because okay. I could have full swing lessons doing driving and iron play for the next two years with you. Yeah. Is that going to help you break eight here? No. 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 Because when, whenever I chip, for example, even if it's reasonable chip, it'll be probably nine, eight yeah. feet uh, radius to the pin. Yeah. And I, I hardly uh, tap that in. Well, I just think you've proven tonight that your long game is incredible and right, good okay. where you get to the green in regulation or at the side of the green in regulation. Yeah. Or sometimes, you know, on two, three occasions, you've been 60, 70 yards. Yeah. But I don't know what you're doing in them areas, but it isn't good enough because it's not equating to under 40, is it? Right. Okay. You must be five shots worse than what we've done tonight. Yeah. From 80 yards and closer. Yeah. So that's what we're going to focus on, guys. I hope you've enjoyed having T back on the channel. 
Um, and it's going to be an interesting few months. Are, are we already into the challenge? We're already right? into the challenge. This is week one. <laughs> okay. We're going to try and do, you know, every week, every two weeks, okay. keep the story, you know, going, and then we're going to have a little bit of a test. So are we talking about five years break in? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's video. Tahid's back. We're on the break 80. I'm going to take this mid handicap golfer to a single figure handicapper. Wow. Break 80 once. In 30 days. <laughs> <laughs>